1967, Northern Ireland's first private abortion clinic will officially open today, despite expected protests from pro-life campaigners. The Mary Stokes Centre in Belfast will offer women terminations for £450. Andy Martin reports. Every day, anti-abortion groups picket the Family Planning Association offices in Belfast. It doesn't offer terminations of any kind. So the opening of the Mary Stopes Clinic, which does, is an obvious target for protest. While abortions can be carried out in very limited circumstances in Northern Ireland, this will be the first time a woman can have a termination outside the NHS, and it has divided opinion. I just don't believe in abortion. I, I'm sorry, because I once you're pregnant, I think, you're, you, that's your baby, you know, and that's the way it is. At least if they're here, they're a wee bit nearer their own homes and they don't have to travel across the water. Last year, 1,000 people made that journey. One woman who didn't want to be identified said it had made a difficult decision much more traumatic. It's a very heavy burden to carry. It really does play with your head, and especially knowing that in the rest of the UK it is OK, and here it's not, and it's not OK to speak about it. That stigma still hangs. There is little political will to extend the law which allows abortions in England and Wales to Northern Ireland, and most political parties have already called for the new clinic to be closely regulated. Andy Martin, BBC News, Belfast. Let's talk about this now. We're joined by Mara Clark, founder of the Abortion Support Network, and Peter Smith from Catholic Voices. Thank you very much for coming in for us this morning. Mara, first of all, could you just give a sense of whether you think uh, there is a need for the service that they're providing outside of the NHS? Um, there's absolutely a need for the extension of sexual and reproductive health care services to the women of Northern Ireland and, of course, Ireland as well. Um, abortion is very very seriously restricted in those places and when women are faced with a crisis pregnancy they very often have no idea where to turn um, I was in Derry a couple weeks ago and uh, was asked by a woman at a bed and breakfast what I do and I told her and she said oh my goodness I wish I'd known about you because my neighbor's 15 year old has a 10 month old baby and when she got pregnant we had no idea where to go for information so hopefully all this publicity will show women that there here is a place where they can go for unbiased factual information about all of their options um, so that's one example and it's difficult to sort of generalize but who what sort of type of situations um, are the women in who are going to you in Northern Ireland trying to find help well, we're, we're an all-volunteer organization, and we do the best that we can to raise money to provide financial assistance to the women forced to travel over, um, because even well, though... What I want to know is what sort yeah. of situations they find themselves in. Obviously, you were talking about a young girl there. Yes. But what sort of other situations? Um, the women who've contacted us have ranged in age from 47 to 14, and it's everything from married couples who have a number of children who can't afford more children, couples with seriously wanted pregnancy that find out that their, their children, you know, the, the fetus has catastrophic fetal anomalies and won't live past birth, uh, victims of rape, victims of assault, women in escaping abusive relationships. But the thing that, the reason I made the point about the financial assistance is that all the women who contact us, what they have in common is that they're poor. So they can't afford to come over and pay privately for a termination. So can I ask you, Peter, from Catholic Voices, what, what are, do you have an objection to the, the, the clinic opening in principle? Within the law in Northern Ireland, there is absolutely no demand for this new clinic. The NHS in Northern Ireland provides legal terminations up to nine weeks gestation, as it's required to do. This is subtle policy making by Mary Stopes, who want to establish a fact on the ground in Northern Ireland that they can use to leverage and to liberalise the abortion law in Northern Ireland. But I suppose you can only know whether there's demand for it once it exists. And if people go through their doors and require their services, then there must be a need there. No, but that's for people who want terminations before nine weeks of gestation. Um, it's fascinating to see that Mary Stopes have put forward no business proposal for this um, new facility. They've not said our poll shows, uh, a, poll, uh, a poll of a thousand women in Belfast shows that many would like access to terminations after nine weeks of gestation. There simply is not that demand on the ground. There isn't that popular consensus in Northern Ireland. I mean, your, your view is obviously entirely different to what Mara's are, and she's saying that there is a need, you know, with people who perhaps have been raped, perhaps in abusive relationships, that there is a need. She sees the need there. Um, rape causing a child is, and rape in itself is absolute tragedy. And we say, put all of these resources into preventing rape and into um, 
looking after the child and the mother after rape. We say it compounds the tragedy of rape to have a termination subsequently. And that it would be fantastic if Mary Stopes were to develop um, some way of, of assisting so that it was a proper choice for mothers who, who come up. Mary Stopes in Northern Ireland has absolutely no facility for mothers who say, actually, I want to keep the child. Can you help me with sheltered accommodation, with food, with baby clothing, with um, some sort of uh, crash so I can go out and study and work? It's not a real choice in that respect. And Mara, I mean, the, the clinic is, is opening today, so it, it's going to exist. Yes. Uh, how will it be determined whether or not it, it is necessary? Whether or not the Whether clinic it's is needed, necessary. Yeah, because this well, seems to be the issue. So some people are saying it's just not necessary. Well, thousands of women a year are coming over to England to access a termination. I would think it would be easier for them to do so in their own in their own neighbourhoods where they don't have to pay for flights. And um, and as and as for the choice in terms of you know, whether there's choice or not. Mary Stopes isn't going to be going out and dragging women into the clinic. And in fact, I'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot of protesters outside. Mm -hmm. So women who want to access those services, it says abortion clinic on the, or family, you know, planning clinic on the outside. Women are going to know what they're going into. And if they want those services, they're going to access them. Thank you both very much for your time this morning. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It is